Another essential feature of indigenous knowledge uh, is their dramatic nature. Now, anthropomorphism is a commonly used technique here. Yeah, so anthropomorphism is the, the idea of giving human characteristics to, to a, to a non-human um, object. And an example of that comes from the, our country, Gamilaroi country, uh, when we're talking about the morning star Venus, um, which is referred to as um, Gindamela, uh, which means you are laughing, essentially. Uh, and so that describes the, the planet as an older man that's actually laughing. And this laughing refers to the, the scintillation of Venus's light as it sort of um, filters through the atmosphere. Now, typically scintillation is an, is an effect that's um, restricted to starlight uh, and is not that generally of, of the sunlight that's reflected off a planet. Um, but Venus, being the morning star, is in a unique position where it's usually seen quite low on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And so as you're low on the horizon, you've got more of the Earth's atmosphere for your light to pass through. And as such, when the old man is very low on the horizon and he's laughing, you'll see that scintillation of Venus um, represented. Right, that's really interesting uh, because the Ulanu people of Northeast Arnhem Land, they have a very cool story about Venus as well, uh, who they call Burnambar. Now, the morning star again, uh, Burnambar is a creator spirit for the Ulanu people and they believe that Burnambar was uh, one of the first beings to guide humans to Arnhem Land and they observed that Burnambar, she never went too high in the sky, she always stayed quite low in the sky and this is because she is said to be tied down by her friends and her family uh, with rope to try and prevent her from getting lost or going all over the place. Now the twinkling features that we heard from the story you shared, Pete, um, these twinkling features of Venus observed by the Gamilaroi people and the low position of Venus as well observed by the Ulanu people really combine to give us this understanding of the quite unique positional astronomy that indigenous peoples have access to. So these features and observations might seem frivolous, but to an astronomer or an indigenous person, they they actually convey quite significant sort of positional, atmospheric, mm -hmm. and sort of astronomical information that we store within these stories. And so what this does is is it actually aids in that in that memory device, the the way in which we can use the positions of the stars, and the positions of these objects in the sky to then help us remember what's happening here on the land, which is so important to to our continuing culture, a culture that's, you know, the longest continuing culture on, on the earth, you know, upwards of 65,000 years plus.